No Christmas is complete without Christmas dinner, and no decorating scheme is finished without a gorgeous table. We all want to amaze and delight our guests, and in my dining room, I'd like my table to have real wow factor. And who better to take inspiration from than some of the best party planners on the planet? Rob Hornsby and Sam Haslam create spectacular festive scenes and stunning table settings. We need snow. Today they're creating a magical winter wonderland for over 150 party goers at the historic Royal Courts of Justice. Just one of 19 style packed parties they'll be hosting this season. Robin Sam's parties can cost hundreds of thousands of pounds, but I'm hoping to bottle some of their decorative imagination and transform my dining room on a more domestic budget. Ooh, hi. Hi. This is Bespoke Events London's HQ, packed with creative director Rob's most high fashion, high concept Christmas decorating trends. This is where the magic happens. I've never seen anything like that. I love it. These amazing centerpieces will feature at many a five-star Christmas party this year. Rob takes his inspiration from the latest couture fashion collections. So there seem to be two very distinct trends here. One is very, very bright and one is very, very clean and white. Yeah. If you've got to cater to your white minimalists who love the snow and the sparkle, mm. you've got to cater to your traditionalists which mm. love a little bit of colour and romance, blue, blue pine, greenery, etc, etc, gold and red. I'm a traditionalist and I love the weeping willow and I love the gold and silver foliage. I've never yeah. seen gold and silver together like that. I really think it's beautiful. I think that's kind of a new look this year, it was oh, more natural. That's stunning. And I can't say that I would necessarily go to quite this extent at home, but I do want to make sure that I just don't pull out the same old schlock and I yeah. give it a really definite theme this yeah. year. I'll keep you warm in I'm hoping I can copy some of Rob and Sam's ideas for my Christmas table. So this is uh, one of the setups we have for a client. They're letting me in on the secrets of creating a high-impact look. As you can see, the large centrepiece is ready to go. Beautiful. Rob's creation here. Rob's stunning centrepiece chimes with the natural Nordic style I'm going for at home. I like it because you can still see round it. I always yeah. worry when you have stuff in the middle of the table you that see you're blocking. <laughs> yeah, it'll be awful. <laughs> awful. The theme of the centrepiece informs the other elements Rob and Sam bring to the table. Their attention to detail stretches to special bubble-edged glass plates. I will do the thumb test now. So what is the thumb test? Just make sure that everything oh, is... I see. ...done as and, it should and be. And one thumb apart. While Rob arranges a pile of artificial snow around his centrepiece, Sam and I start to lay up the table. But I'm beginning to wonder how doable this is at home. Where's the turkey going to go? How practical do you have to be, or do you not care? Well, I think um, events in general, they're quite sort of whimsical. How many tables do you have a snowdrift in? So it's quite nice to have the occasional knife in Fine. the snowdrift. In the snowdrift. Yeah, because... practicality goes out the window with me. He pulls me back on the practicality. They've dodged the question, but I suppose I can always carve my turkey in the kitchen. Is this going your way? Very much my way, <laughs> right up my strasser. <laughs> It does start looking very pretty. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane, snow's glistening. You just flick that button at the bottom there. The intricate layering of Rob's vision continues right up to the final health and safety approved touch of romance. Battery operated night lights placed into snow filled baubles. Singing a song as we go along, walking in a winter on the I love this table because it's kind of witty. I like the one bread and the one red, the natural wood, and then the bark napkins. It is quite nice to challenge the parameters a bit. We all get a little bit stuck in our ways. Totally. Well, it is very over the top, for sure, but it, 
People can take elements of it, it and elements. shrink it down to their own personal choice. Yeah. I want to move the goalposts. I want it to be bigger, better, more this okay, year. OK, great. Cool. So thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but to meet people who have such high standards in luxury and exceptional taste are really inspiring me to pick up my game this Christmas.